Hey guys, and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I just wanted to have a quick look at the Pirate Caterpillar that you get for winning um, Pirate Swarm, getting to Wave 18 and completing it. Uh, you also get a badge, the uh, Pirate Aggressor badge, um, and basically access to purchase this Caterpillar rather than just being given it. Um, so, take a look at it, tell me what you think. It is just a skin. And this is the Pirate Caterpillar. So it's just basically a skin for the Caterpillar. And, I mean, for Pirates... In the short term, it looks cool, and it's funny, and it's it's pretty cool with the... I assume that's supposed to be how many kills you've got. It'd be cool if that actually does expand, or you can put more decals on there um, with your actual kills. But you don't want people to go, oh look, a Drake Pirate Cutlass. <laughs> I mean, that's half the surprise, isn't it? Just like going, no, no, I'm a cargo cutlass, I'm a cargo cutlass. Ah, I've got all your loot now. But uh, I think it looks very beautiful, though. I actually do prefer the Kovalex skin, um, personally. But we'll have a look around. Uh, the ship itself is just beautiful anyway, the Cutlass in general. Um, it, it, it feels very branded Drake still, and I'm not sure if Drake actually want to be totally synonymous with pirates, although they are. <laughs> Let's jump in the elevator. The general look of the ship and the, the lift and elevator and all the animations from it are pretty, pretty damn awesome. And those of you that haven't seen the Caterpillar before, we have done a video on that previously, so please check that out where we go through the, the entire internals. I believe everything is pretty much the same internally. Um, the engine area just looks amazing with all the lighting. Let's go upstairs and into the main chair. Through the central hallway. Some flickery lights there. Enter that pirate seat. And this is kind of the glory of the pirate caterpillar. Now, I'll quickly go over some tips for pirate swarm, actually. That's a quite a good shout. Um, so, uh, I have had great experiences in pirate swarm with the vanguard, um, just the standard vanguard one, obviously. Um, the Sabre and the Super Hornet. Um, missiles wise, you've got all loads of new missile racks to choose from now. So I suggest, because of the way Pirate Swarm and Vandal Swarm work, that you go for a small amount of larger missiles. Because when you pick up a missile pickup, the minimum it can give you is one. Um, is the, the idea there. So if you've got like uh, two size three missiles, you're going to be doing huge amounts of damage. And in Pirate Swarm, you're going to be fighting um, constellations, vanguards. Um, Cutlass. Cutlass and Constellations are incredibly tanky and those missiles are really useful for taking that quickly because if you are in their sights for a few seconds they could technically kill you um, even if you're in a Super Hornet pretty quick um, because of the amount of firepower they can get into you. So just bear that in mind. Um, also weapons wise I've had great success with uh, Panther laser repeaters paired with Mantises and they've got exceptionally similar all oh, we're looking for sucking a wall. Uh, we've got exceptionally similar um, uh, speeds for their projectiles, so um, it, it's as if they're they're firing in unison. It's great. Uh, it works really well. Uh, and picking up ballistic ammo, and um, when you need it, will also give you countermeasures back. Um, so having ballistics mixed with lasers is is a good shout in a lot of situations. Now, um, I will put a link to the uh, Star Citizen database, uh, Star Citizen DB dot com, that uh, Malagos made, who is uh, ripped all of the stats for the weapons and missiles. Um, stuck in the wall again though. And I should stop going into that wall. But I think the caterpillar just looks absolutely awesome inside and out. And it is a really quite a large ship. That command module there. But the pirate one, it's pretty cool. I do like I do like the warm decal of Drake Interplanetary there. But hopefully we're better change these colours anyway ourselves. So yeah. Pirate Swarm's hard, guys, as well. Just remember that. Pirate Swarm is hard. Uh, going in with a party is a good shout as well. Like, uh, you, you want to be in that party. You want to have a group of people that you trust to go in with in, in a public match. And you'll get a good amount of wreck as well. It's just it's just hard. It's just hard. But uh, I actually prefer the other, personally. You know, that's just me. Tell me what you think. Um, 
got to, just got to get to wave at or well, complete pirate swarm to get this, uh, and then you can purchase it. It's the same price as the normal caterpillar, and uh, yeah, I like it. It's just not as good as the original, I don't think, personally. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Uh, please don't forget that uh, commenting on any of our Star Citizen content throughout uh, a given month gives you a chance to win a ship for December. That is a chance to win a Avenger Titan or an 85X with lifetime insurance. The winner will get to choose at the same price, so it doesn't really matter. You can switch between them. Um, but yeah, Caterpillar, it's cool. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you in the verse. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. There's some cool stuff you can do with the new cameras.